prompt and on time. I do my best, sir. Well, don't just stand there. Son, come in. Come in. You must be freezing. Coffee? To be honest, I'm warming up already. Well, perhaps you could use some energy in the other sense of the word. Mr. Frank, I do appreciate the drink and your kind words, of course. But, sir, you called me here well after the bank had closed for the evening. And I can't help but worry that there's something either urgent or... Lewis, Lewis, please. Your concerns are justified. And you've always been very intuitive. This is an unusual matter. And might I ask what exactly the matter even is, sir? Son, you've left an impression on me from the very day you joined the company. And you've continued to impress me every day since. You know what really sets you apart from the other man? You can hold a conversation with my wife. Sir, my intention was never to- Lewis, please. I know you have no intention of seducing my wife. But what I'm trying to say is, while you've gained my trust, you have hers as well. And you're the only person that I can trust with this favor. I'm sorry, sir. I'm still unsure of what you're asking me. This Friday, I'll be heading to the train station. Should be gone for three hours. Now, to be honest, I can't tell you where I'm going. Only that my wife must not know my whereabouts. Mrs. Frank knows me well. I'm not sure if she'd be able to believe my lies. There's no need to lie. Just take her out to dinner, maybe a show. The important thing is that she stays out of the house. There's no need to lie. If you're taking the train, then why must Mrs. Frank be away from home? I'm not going to ask you this again. Will you do this for me? I knew I could count on you, my boy.